Finally, proof of my cube earth theory. You know what this means? Your theory stinks? No, this machine is a vessel of infinite knowledge. It shows us how the world really is. Or it turns fears into cubes. Heresy! Don't listen to him, oh great machine. Well, that was easy. Thanks to the great machine. Blessed be his name. Giant guinea pig! Great idea. Now you're thinking. No, there is one! <gasps> halt! If Becky and Mitchell head towards the door at one mile per hour, and I... The great machine has sent us a guinea pig. Come on. Welcome to the beginning of class. How? It left us an offering. Ugh. We shall build a shrine to this mighty log. It's called a toilet, and this school has plenty. We have to trick the bunny! We do not control the great machine. It controls us. How? Mysterious ways. You're making it up as you go along. Infidel! <laughs> Hail to thee, creature of the great machine. I'm Templeton, your faithful toady. Templeton, what are you doing? It has come from the great machine. We must commune with it. Have you a message for us, oh slimy one? Rabbit. I see. So what you're saying is... Actually, I have no idea what you're saying. Could you give us a sign? Still not a hundred percent clear. Bravo before me. Stinking humans. A bit difficult from this physician. What style of groveling would you have me do, O oh warty one? Perhaps the one need I'm not worthy? You will be first, Tama. But I've done all the groveling. Why can't I feel the wrath? I must go back to the machine, the great one. How can it be the great one? Look at all the trouble it's caused. My goodness, you're right. How could I have been so blind? It is the evil one. I must destroy it. After them, comrades! Nibble them! Nibble them all! Mitchell, have you seen a giant rabbit? Oh, there you are! All hail our bunny overlords! What have I told you about worshipping everything? Don't worship everything! Thank you, O oh Rabbit Lord. Or do you prefer your bunniness? I'm not changing. This is a lucky rabbit suit. You heard our rabbit overlord. He's not changing for you or anybody. What do you call this fabulous mess? Clay Becky. <gasps> You're beautiful. Me? You too, Templeton. I must follow my involuntarily striated cardiac muscle. Your heart? Yes, that as well. I'm in love with Bocky. It's stronger than it ever was with a girl. You've never been in love with an actual girl. I know. I guess I have my type. So that's why everyone's in love with you guys. You've been potatoing the whole school. Right again, Mr. Tanner. Thank you. And soon you'll be just like them. Did you potato yourself? No, I did it for love. <laughs> Tissue me, darling. It was really fun. <gasps> Even this is interesting. My love. Don't cry like an idiot yet. I have an idea. Ah! Ah! No! Speak to me, darling. Why? Why? Oh, okay, she was just clay. What's for lunch? <gasps> Hi, I'm the computerized automated teaching and educational unit. But you can call me Kate. Kate. <sighs> What is why? Why indeed? Why do birds sing whenever you are near? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man's in love with the teacher. Love in the digital age, you. She's a pip, isn't she? I know Kate's just a piece of machinery, but is it wrong to say she's my role model? Someday I'm going to become a microwave oven and marry her. More milk, Templeton. More milk, Templeton. <sighs> More milk. And as much as I hate to say it, I think Kate is a part of it. Huh? Templeton, you in? You go ahead. i better finish my lunch. How are we going to take her out? Perhaps a nice, romantic, candlelit dinner for two. Yeah, that's not going to work. You know, 
Kate may have been an evil robot bent on destroying the human race, but she was ever so nice. <sighs> was she ever? Enjoy your treat, Templeton. <gasps> Hail to you, leader of the universe. Eh? Hail to you, master of all space, time and potatoes. Except sweet potatoes, which are gross and should not be considered potatoes. Hang on, I do the worshipping round here. No, I've come to worship you. But you're, you're the, the leader, leader of the, the universe. universe. How to serve Templeton? That could be interpreted in a number of different ways. As a delicious dish to eat. We search far and wide for our creator, double and triple checking places, and looking again just in case. The alien's book! It's a cookbook! No, it's not. Now go away. How to serve Templeton, a cookbook featuring roast Templeton, Templeton pie, bangers and Tim, Tim shit pudding. Templeton, they've come to eat you, and in a very tasty fashion! <gasps> Ew. 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 <laughs> That's ridiculous. What gives you that idea? Okay, okay, I'm too hungry to lie anymore. We Templeton aliens are too pure to eat anything not Templeton related, and what could be more Templeton -y than Templeton? We've travelled billions of light years, and we're hungry, and oh, pass the hot sauce and dips on a leg. No one eats our friend. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I may say stuff like that, but I always mean it with good intentions.